Hello and today we are going to look at a common installation problem that a lot of people do have but they are not aware that they actually have it. So to understand what the problem is we've created this script and we're going to open it up. Once the file has loaded the one thing that sticks out is that we've got miscellaneous files up the top here. Now, what that means is that we are not going to get any t in tally sense, we're not going to get any colouring, and we're not going to see any errors in the IDE. So to prove that, I can go down here and I'm going to say temp equals transform. And because of my fat fingers, I've accidentally hit the D key. If the installation is correctly set up, we would not see miscellaneous files. We would see a lot more coloring and we would see a red squiggly line underneath this error. So how do we fix this problem? What we need to do is open up Visual Studio Installer and it doesn't matter what version you're using, the steps are the same. So we need to modify the installation. We need to go down to where it says gaming. And we also need to make sure that the game development with Unity is selected. Once it is selected, we can see on the right hand side here that it's going to install these options. Now, we do not need Unity Hub because we already have all of that installed so we can deselect that. However, if you have not got any of the Visual Studio tools for Unity showing up in here, you can go to the individual components and you can scroll down to the gaming section. Once in that section, I highly recommend to make sure that the Visual Studio tools for Unity is installed and these two options are also ticked. So these three should be ticked. Once you have done that, you can then go to modify. So once the installation has finished, we can now go back to Unity and we now need to make sure that under edit preferences, external tools, that we have now selected the external script editor to move and select to, sorry, to select the IDE that we wish to use, in my case, Visual Studio. We also need to make sure that we regenerate the project files and we can close that down. We can now open that script again. We can see that it no longer says miscellaneous files up here. We can now see that we've got a lot more colors in here and we can now see that there is an error here. And we know that I accidentally hit the D on the transform and I can remove that D and save it back. And that is it. If you've got any questions, then please drop a comment below and I'll get back to you. Well, that's it for another video. Thank you for watching. And if you want to help, please share and like the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Till next time.